Now, we've talked about in our quick blocks or our boxing blocks how to deal with strikes coming into the face or into the midsection. Now we have to look at looping strikes or circular strikes. So if someone's coming in uh, to us with a hook, or it could be a round kick or even a crescent kick into the sides, what we want to do with our guarding hands position, knees bent, we're going to lean down, tilt and bend the side, drop the elbow down to the hip bone, cover up the floating rib with the arm. So I'm coming over here, back and forth, but I'm using, I'm squeezing down my ribs to my hip and I'm initiating from my sides. I don't want to just do this to block and protect. My arms are slower than my muscles in my core to get that protected and drop that arm down. So that's the sides block. Now the duck and cover is if I'm getting a round kick or a crescent kick or hooks up to my head or my jaw, what I'm going to do is the duck part is I'm going to crunch down my stomach, I'm going to tuck my chin down but I'm going to keep my eyes up to my opponent and the cover is my arm comes up, elbow points towards my opponent, arm is flat against the head, no gap with the elbow out just touching the wrist or hand, everything sideways. So when I do it, it looks like this from the side, it's protecting the jaw and the head, my hand and wrist wrap around the back of my head. So I would be coming here, I'd come up, I'd come down, crunch and come back, crunch and come back. So I'm ducking and covering, ducking and covering. And it could be from a guarding position as well. Get! Sides block would look like so. Duck and cover. But notice how I'm always looking at my opponent when I'm doing the duck and cover, not my feet. And so those are those two quick or boxing blocks.